As, as I said on the floor during the debate, uh, when the sun sets tonight, we will have accomplished in less than a year sweeping, historic, sea-changing reform in America's military when it comes to the crime of sexual assault. Uh, it is a long list of reforms that we added to today. Uh, the final vote will be on Monday, but the vote on cloture on our additional reforms, uh, in fact, was 100 to nothing. Uh, so we have now got a laundry list of things that are going to protect victims, that are going to bring perpetrators to justice, that are going to hold commanders accountable. I um, am grateful to my partner for most of this, Senator Gillibrand, who uh, she and I worked together on all of these items. We had one honestly held policy difference, and um, that was voted on today. I felt very strongly based on the evidence and after spending a lot of time with prosecutors and victims, military prosecutors, victim advocates, uh, that the proposal that she had was going to result in fewer prosecutions. It was going to not protect victims from retaliation. It was going to result in uh, not a measurable increase in reporting, since we know there has been no increase in reporting in countries that have adopted this system, and was going to do something very dangerous for victims, and that is let the commanders off the hook. And I think the commanders, uh, if, uh, if you don't have the commanders as part of the solution, they are part of the problem. And uh, I think we can hold them accountable. We can ferret out the bad ones. We now know that we have multiple reviews and oversight in this area. But at the end of the day, the good commanders can make all the difference in the world as to whether or not you change a culture in the military. And we've seen that on a number of issues through our history, whether it was our friction over integration of the military or whether it was friction over implementing Don't Ask, Don't Tell and then reversing Don't Ask, Don't Tell and making sure that commanders um, were responsible for uh, fixing the problem. And I think that's what we've done. I have immense gratitude uh, to my colleagues, Senator Ayotte and Senator Fisher and Senator Graham and McCain and others, Senator Levin, Senator Reid. The argument was posed, it's victims versus commander, whose side are you on? And it's not that simple. And if you take the time to really get into the complexities of, of the military justice system and how these cases are handled, uh, I, I'm confident that the choice the Senate made today is the right one for victims of sexual assault in the military. I want to thank Senator McCaskill for her leadership on this issue. And what I've appreciated from the beginning, I was a prosecutor myself before I came to the United States Senate, and Claire was a prosecutor, and in fact, she prosecuted many of these cases and worked personally with victims, and that's the perspective uh, that she and I have shared, but she really has uh, so much experience in this area that she's brought to this very, very important de debate to make sure that we support victims of sexual assault in the military, and we've made some historic reforms, uh, both in the defense authorization not only um, ensuring that commanders can no longer overturn a verdict, uh, retaliation, a crime under the UCMJ, but also uh, that each victim will now have his or her own counsel through the Special Victims Council, that uh, legislation that was included in the defense authorization. I was very pleased that, um, that we've been able to pass not just the NDAA with its very, very historic measures that were included in that, but, uh, but now the McCaskill, McCaskill, Ayotte, and Fisher proposal as well, because it only strengthens the proposals that we had there. I said on the floor earlier today that we're seeing the Senate at its, at its best. Every senator knows how important it is to address this issue. This is a challenge that's facing our military, and as such, it faces our country as well. The policy is the right policy that I'm supporting, and it matters. The policy matters here to these victims. 